Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ryan and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I deploy my React apps to Heroku. So having finished my four year degree, one of the main things that really struck me was we were never really told how to deploy our code onto servers. And I think this is really a very critical step for when you're going to be leaving college, but also while you're in college because to me I think you kind of want to be able to share your projects, put them up on GitHub and share them with other people. And especially if you're going to be looking for any sort of employment and internships and things like that, I think it's very important to be able to actually deploy your kind of code to servers to let people view them. So when you're first deploying your websites, the first thing you might go to is a shared hosting plan and deploy your HTML and CSS there using something like FileZilla and upload everything via FTP. But things get a little bit more complicated when you start talking about React.js and things like that that might be needing to be compiled especially if you're using something like TypeScript or if it's something like Express where you need Node, the kind of shared hosting platforms like that don't allow you to deploy things like that to them. So this is where something like Heroku comes into play and they have a really nice generous free tier. The only thing that is annoying about it is it shuts off after I think half an hour when you haven't loaded up the website. But other than that, everything is pretty good on the free tier for getting you up and running and deploying your very first website. So let's jump into the code and I'll show you how I've configured React to be able to deploy it to Heroku using something called Express. So when you start it off, you'll have a React script start that will typically be run by the start script. And what you're going to want to do is change that to something else. For this example, I have changed mine to dev, but you can change this to anything you would like, sort of something like watch, dev, development, or anything like that that just isn't start. Then as a replacement for the start command, you're going to want to write node and then server.js. And you can replace server.js with anything you would like, just as long as it's some sort of a JS file. And once you have named that, you're going to want to create the file over here. So in the server.js file, it's pretty simple. It just imports express. And then all it does is serves two routes. And that's forward slash, which is the root kind of home to that URL and kind of this wildcard of anything that comes after that route. So if it's forward slash about, forward slash contact or anything like that, it will run this. So what happens is when you go to your package JSON, you're going to want to run the build script. And what that does is just creates this build file here, as you can see, or this build folder. And in there it has the index.html file. And this is what runs your React app. So essentially when you're going to load up the server, it's going to hit the express app and all the routing is going to go directly into that index.html file and from there React will act as normal, kind of the exact same as your development server would when you're going from URL to URL. Once you've all this done, I highly suggest putting all the code up on GitHub to keep track of everything and also just kind of as a good standard for version control. So then comes the fun part in Heroku when we actually get to deploy it to the internet. So just set up an app as normal. And then under the deploy tab, you'll have the option to be able to link your GitHub account. And this is where we'll have deployed all the code. So we'll be able to link it up and select the specific repo for your code. So that's what I've done here. I've connected my account and I've just signed in and specified the repo that I'm going to be working on. One thing I highly recommend is setting up automatic deploys. And what that will do is every time you push a commit onto GitHub, it will automatically trigger a new build onto your live server. So that way you can share it with other people and you can test it yourself on a live server and you can also even test on your phone or something like that. Once you have that done, the next thing you're going to want to do is head into the settings tab and underneath there, you're going to want to go to build packs and you're going to want to add Heroku forward slash node.js. So it's very simple. Just click add build pack and it's the very first one here. It's node.js. You just click on that and click save changes and that will add that build pack. Once you have that done, everything is being configured to deploy your app to Heroku. So for the very first time, you're probably going to want to go back into deploy and you're going to want to set up a manual deploy. So just go down to the bottom here where it says manual deploy and choose the branch. Typically, you're going to want to build off the master and then just click deploy branch. And that's just going to trigger your very first ever build onto the platform. If you don't have automatic deploys, this is also going to be what you're going to want to do to deploy your app to Heroku. There's also the option to deploy things using the CLI and things like that, but this is a different process that I've gone through by simply setting up your project in GitHub and then allowing the whole automatic deploy to take over and deploy your website live. 
So once that's all configured, now you're actually gonna want to view the web app on Heroku. So you can do that by just clicking open app here on the top right. And what that will do is open up your deployed React app on Heroku server. So as you can see here, this is my app that I've built and deployed onto Heroku and everything is working very well. The way I've configured mine is to set it up in a pipeline because I'm using React that talks to an express server. And I've set it up that I'm able to manage them both independently that way, if it was a large scale deployment, I'd be able to kind of scale things up independently. So if I needed more servers for the back end and less for the front end, I could do that. So that's how I deploy my React apps onto Heroku. If you guys have any suggestions, post them in the comments below. I'd be interested to see how you guys deploy yours. See if you have anything that might streamline the process or even remove the need for an express server altogether because for some reason I just couldn't get React to deploy to Heroku without setting up this express server. Thank you very much for watching. This is how I deploy my React apps onto Heroku and I'll see you guys in another video.